My understanding is that the attorney, the inspector general, is a career intelligence okay, person. I think he's we're recording. The justice. He's received numerous awards for outstanding exemplary performance. Did you have any reason to deny or this is history. his conclusions in every area of this report that he was directly involved in? Congresswoman... Michael listening Robinson, to a conversation, a colleague. I respect him tremendously. what are they talking about? The question came down to, and we just over and over again, urgent concern and whether or not the intelligence uh, community, Whistleblower okay. Protection Act, as written, allows yes, me to vote um, it to this committee. That's where I got stuck, ma'am, and I'm sorry. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Congresswoman. Mr. Christian Murphy. Mr. McGuire, thank How's you so much for your service going? to my country, and thank you for your patriotism. Um, I want to ask there? you uh, a couple questions about um, the time surrounding July 25th uh, to the time that you came into uh, office. As you the, hear me now? Uh, as you know, the phone call between President Trump and uh, the Ukrainian president happened on July 25th of this year, correct? I believe July 25th. You're this talking year. to me. At least one of them happened I'm on July listening. 25th. At that time, the DNI was Dan Coates, and his deputy was Sue Gordon. As you know, the whistleblower claim was filed on August I'm 12th listening. of this year, and then you took office um, on August 16th, four yes. days later. Yes, I hear you. Prior to taking your new job, or since, did you discuss the July 25th call or the whistleblower complaint whistleblower with the DNI Coates? I wouldn't have taken the job if I did. No, sir. And how about with Sue Gordon? No, not at all. What's the I don't deal, believe, though? Uh, to the best of my ability, you like I do that? not think that either Director Coates What's or that? Principal Deputy Sue Gordon have any okay. sense whatsoever about this whistleblower complaint or that Michael Please. Atkinson had it. Before your current it's role, annoying, uh, darling. did you discuss Ukraine with President Trump? Something's missing. No, Congressman. I, uh, haven't discussed, uh, I haven't discussed Ukraine with anybody. Let me put it to you that way. You haven't discussed okay. Ukraine with anybody in your current role as the acting DNI? Well, as we uh, intelligence reports, we, you know, we, we've got uh, about 190 countries out there, so whatever the uh, president's daily brief is and matters that pertain to that. But as Answer far the as question, intelligence activities, uh, in that region right now, this has just not been something that has come to my attention in the six weeks uh, that I've been me? the acting DNI. Um, now, turning to the whistleblower and the inspector general, you, you don't know the identity of the whistleblower, right? Congressman, I do not, and I've made it my business to make sure that I do. Correct. And you don't know his political affiliation, obviously. I do not. I do not know this individual. Or her political affiliation. And, of course, you believe that the whistleblower was operating in good faith. I do. And without bias. I don't know about that. I do not know about that. I do well, believe you. But you have no reason to believe that he or she was acting with bias, correct? I just believe that the whistleblower was acting in good faith. But you have no reason to believe that the okay. person was biased. I would not That's know me. whether he was biased or not biased, sir. I just don't you know. You know me. And, of course, you will do everything you can to protect the whistleblower from any attempts to retaliate against Who him. Where are you her, going? Right? I will What's not my name? the whistleblower to be subject to any retaliation or adverse consequences for going to the IG. I am absolutely committed to that. And unlike yes. the whistleblower, you do know the inspector general, yes. obviously. And I hold him in high esteem. And you like the whistleblower, me. he also operated in you the highest me. faith, right? I believe that Michael Atkinson... Uh, you know my voice, yes, darling. Yes, and, yes. and interestingly, Mr. Atkinson was actually appointed by President Donald Trump, right? Yes, he was. He's a presidential appointee. At what lends real credibility to the whistleblower's complaint is the fact that Mr. Atkinson, an appointee of the president, would actually bring forward a complaint against his boss. And that's something that is especially courageous. You understand what I want to hear from you is that you will also do everything you can to protect Mr. Atkinson from potential retaliation. Congress What's the problem? Absolutely. Very good. Now, the White House released a memorandum of telephone conversation from the July 25th, 2019 call, right? I believe that was what was uh, transmitted yesterday morning, sir. And they call that a telcon in the jargon of these memorandums. How do you get what you want? I, I, I'm familiar. This is the first time I've ever seen uh, the uh, transcript of a presidential conversation with a foreign leader. 
Okay, have you been? Belltown would be charged for telephone conversation. I'm listening. Exactly. And have you been uh, a party to a uh, conversation between the president and a foreign leader on a phone call? When I am in the what office, what are you looking to for? The intelligence brief to the president. Some uh, foreign head of state might call in. The president be in here. to leave or just stay there for a brief call from time to time. Yes, sir. And there okay. are note takers who actually scribble down furiously what's being said if, on those if, calls. If they are note takers, they would not be Follow the instructions office, uh, with us. They might be uh, listening to somewhere else, sir. Like from the Situation Room. What are the options? And in this point, I don't know, but somewhere within the White House. Yeah. And and within this okay. particular um, option one. situation, uh, maybe more than a dozen Duration. people were on the phone call. That's the, alleg that's the allegation. Task. And they were all taking notes, presumably. Outcome. If they're good public servants, yes. Gosh. Option two. Were you t and, and were you uh, uh, ever a party to a call where um, the notes that Result. you took uh, were then... Uh, Given me? to someone at the White House for uh, keeping. No. I, I have never been party to any call. What results are you looking for? I would take for? notes from my own at my level or as the director of national intelligence, national counterterrorism that? center. But I have never been privy to a conversation with the result? president where I would be involved in How taking notes. There? It would just be happenstance. I happened to be there, and he felt comfortable enough to leave me for a brief conversation. But it's not anything that I would be in that office particularly uh, for that matter. Thank I'm you just for listening. Thank you, Congressman, very much. I'm not thanking. Thank you. No, and I'd like to recognize the ranking member for any final questions that he would have. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. McGuire, I just want to thank you uh, for your attendance here today. Congratulations for surviving so? Legal Word Challenge charade today. Uh, I suspect that? hopefully we'll see you behind closed doors like this is supposed to be done. Uh, What's and I would the value, just, Don? Uh, urge my colleagues on the other side of the aisle if they would like to impeach the president. Uh, they need it's to go to the floor of the House and actually call for a vote. Uh, the Intelligence Committee is not an appropriate place to What's the number? Uh, try articles of impeachment. So there is a you process know my in the Constitution number. that I would advise you all follow. I'm 33, Don. Director McGuire, I, I want to apologize to you for... Uh, being accused of crimes that you have not committed. Uh, it's totally inappropriate uh, behavior for anyone to accuse someone that served four decades like you. I hope you do not have to go through this any what longer. What was my crime? Really balance my time. Thank you, Ranking Member. What was my terrible crime? Director, um, I have a few more questions. <clears throat> Just to follow up, because I thought I you understand? heard you say a moment ago that uh, you had no communication with the president on the subject of Ukraine. Um, did I understand you to say that? Excuse I, me. I have not particularly had any conversation with my with crime? on the subject of Ukraine that didn't deal with the matter that we have right now uh, in regard to uh, the whistleblower complaint. Whistleblower? So, um, I, not particularly with the Office of Legal Counsel as far as mentioning Ukraine. What was my crime? As far as um, uh, the, um, uh, the Justice Department. All I did was send the documents forward. The okay. allegations are in there, and you know, I'm just let the documents speak for themselves. So you're saying that you did not have any conversation on the subject of Ukraine that did not involve this complaint? That that's correct. What's the complaint? I mean, I mean, I've been in the acting DNI for six weeks. They, I have. Uh, I'm just trying to understand because that is suggested that you did have a conversation involving the complaint with the president. No, no. Well, no. Um, who are you talking to? Said, okay. Um, Director, you mentioned early on when we were uh, on the subject of what the Inspector General was able to investigate to or not investigate, you know what the President is within the intelligence community. I'm on your or side, of the intelligence community. And by the way, the statute doesn't require that the subject of the complaint be within the intelligence community. It requires you the whistleblower to be for. an employee or detailee. It doesn't require that the subject, the person, complained of be an employee of the It's right here. Community. But you have adopted yeah. an interpretation by the Justice Department that essentially says the this president is a is director, the prayer, therefore the president is not subject to the jurisdiction Look of the director, the window. therefore it doesn't meet the definition of urgent concern, therefore the inspector general is done. Chairman. Inspector General can't okay, investigate darling. anymore. That's the Inspector General's 
reading of the department opinion that he is no longer allowed to investigate this. Is that your reading as well? Oh, what's the pipes? Not <laughs> but the allegation has to relate to the funding, administration, or operation of an intelligence activity within the responsibility and the authority of the director of national intelligence. Okay, well, I'm just this trying to get to whether the president is somehow beyond the reach of the law. No, sir. The, the, no no the, person in this country is beyond the reach. Well, I, 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 that's the way it should be, but I'm well, trying to figure out whether that's the way it is as a what law? fact. Um, the inspector general believes that based on the opinion that you requested of the Department of Justice, he is no longer allowed to look into this because it doesn't meet the definition of an urgent concern Who because it that involves law? the president. Um, is that your understanding of the department opinion as well? Who came up with the that inspector law? general no longer has jurisdiction to look into this. It is my understanding that both the Inspector General... As we listen to uh, Acting DNI Joseph the McGuire answer the last questions of this panel, we want to show you the picture on the right side of your screen. That's President Trump just departing the okay. one about to board Air Force One for the trip back to Washington. He is at uh, JFK Airport. Of course, he's been in New York for the uh, opening session of the uh, General the Assembly of the United Nations. Obviously not going to be taking any questions here as he boards the aircraft, but likely well aware of what I is happening right now in Washington. This hearing uh, with the uh, uh, acting head That's of the really DNI who is defending his handling of a whistleblower complaint that uh, was made public today among Stop. the complaints that... They